Saka. Erdegaard. White. contests in the history of this rivalry and it is Gary the most important North London derby of a generation really Saka's kick goes in and it's turned in I think it went in off one of the Tottenham players it was Pierre-Emile Hoiberg who got the touch unwittingly that's taken it past his own goalkeeper Arsenal not too worried about the identity of the goal scorer they're in control Madison's kick goes to the far side this time and it's off the outside of the post from Romero. Saka wanted it played earlier, gets it now though. And Saka makes it too! The local boy is the pride of North London now! Well, he's still not joining in the celebrations, Mikel Arteta, but you could see what it meant to these players. Odegaard's corner this time and it's glanced in! Kai Havertz! Makes it 3-0. Here's Havertz. Right across to Bukayo Saka. That area marked out. Oh, that's a giveaway by Raya. And finally, he has got his goal. Christian Romero gives Tottenham a foothold in the game. David Raya concedes for the first time on the road in over 10 hours of football. And it is entirely his own fault. In by Saar, Romero sticks a leg out, it was blocked Oh, that's a penalty. Party. I thought that was a penalty. Immaculate! Just immaculate! And now feel the belief that Tottenham Hotspur have. Oh, and Arsenal have come through one of the most dangerous hurdles in their run-in. It looked like they were going to coast to victory when they were 3-0 up at half-time, but Ange Postecoglou's side fought back and got to within a goal of embarrassing the Gunners. Premier League, ahead of them five more games, seven and a half hours of football, and the prospect still of becoming the champions for the first time in 20 years. But they may well have to be perfect. Chelsea this season have been unreservedly imperfect. But regardless, their form right now is good. It's two months and more since they lost the game in the Premier League. So here we go with the so often spiky event that is Arsenal-Chelsea. Rice, a lot of space ahead of Trossard, but Rice can drive. Now Trossard! <laughs> Chelsea pierced in a trice by Trossard. Sharp out of the box on another night when they need it. Aggressive win by White. There's Havertz! Petrovic got down sharply. Saka. Trossard deflection. What a save that is. What a reaction from Petrovic. Gallagher. Gallagher's cross. Jackson's there. Ryer at full stretch. Erdegaard, lovely. Petrovic at his near post. Declan Rice against Partey. In by Ben White. As improbable as it is mightily welcome. Petrovic has made some fantastic reflex saves. Who's seen a run here from Havertz? This is Kai Havertz. He's thumped it in. And Arsenal are flying. Ronnie Madweke and Nicholas Jackson. He knows he's got away from him. You've got to go to the other side of the goal. You must go to the other side of the goal. Dear me. Saka. Hammer. Four. Erdegaard. White. Oh. Everything's going right. Are so good, they're scoring by mistake. It's 5 0. All white on the night. Arsenal have ripped Chelsea up. Arsenal have cruised regally into a chunky lead at the summit of the Premier League. There it is, three points ahead of the rest. 
12, 13 goals ahead of the rest. Arsenal are where they want to be. They are demanding of their rivals to match that, if you will. And that will take some matching. Five of the best. A dreamy, creamy night for the Gunners. Smooth, lip-smacking, appetising. A day of heady possibility. A day of just imagine. Amid this frenzy, imagine if Arsenal, 20 years since the last time, if Liverpool in pursuit of the utopian Klopp climax, if either somehow could pull this thing off. Of course, we do have a classy champion, not easily to be deposed, but if anyone can, it is very likely one of these. Well, Mikel Arteta needed no cajoling to offer his warm analysis of a departing rival. He recognises the enormous big-picture contribution of a rival he is now obliged to beat. Well played by David Rock. He's in Ari and so is Martinelli. And Konate's work is cut out here. Martinelli oh. searing past him. Oh. And Saka couldn't make telling contact. He's not Nice, the season at Marseille, and then it really began. Odegaard. Havertz is on his way here. Allison stops him. Saka scores. Arsenal obliged. For them begins ideally. Here's Ravenberg, here's Diaz beyond Saliba and oh. Schotter watched it over the line. It's a mess of a goal. Gabriel may have had the telling touch in amongst a maelstrom of awfulness. This place has gone silent. Let it bounce, Martinelli showed an interest, oh. and Martinelli rolled it in! Curious, and for Liverpool, catastrophic. How can that happen? Look down and wonder, Liverpool introspection, Arsenal thrill. Trossard is free here, clear of Elliot. Leandro Trossard! You grin or your grimace. Jurgen Klopp disbelieving. How, how can that happen? Well, it's happened because his right back's been taken off and his right centre back's been sent off. Arsenal are right in the thick of it again. Suddenly, once more, Arsenal a principal contender as the wings of the Liber Bird are clipped. In so many ways, a peculiar game. Saka gave Arsenal a lead. And after that, one curiosity followed another. A strange old goal, own goal right on half-time. Gabriel 1-1. And then Arsenal goals in the second half, which, based on experience and knowledge, seem inconceivable. Confusion between Alisson and Van Dijk, of all people, for Martinelli to make it 2-1. And then Trossard between the legs of the imperious Allison for 3-1. And Arsenal are right on the shoulder of the leaders.